Juwana from the Kennebec Journal, Morning Sentinel. How are you doing? So uh, it's gonna be nice to see your name at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, describe the uh, the run for you out there and how that went. Um, it was a pretty good run. I had a few little sections that I could have cleaned up, but I think I was just felt a little nervous on the pitch because I came in with so much speed. But I think that's how everyone's kind of feeling today. Like a couple sections are really fast and a little downhilly, but. It's a lot of fun, and I had fun out there. How'd you overcome that and just kind of, uh, you know, overcome that feeling to have the run that you did? Um, well, I did have two turns that weren't super clean, and that was right on the pitch, so I knew coming off the pitch I had to carry my speed and start arcing more, so I just, I think, intuitively started um, arcing and skiing clean and building speed on the flats, and the bottom section's really flat, so I think I just carried my speed pretty well. What do you estimate your top speeds are in the Super G? Maybe like 60, 65 miles an hour, 60 probably. What's going through your head when you're going like 60, 65 miles an hour? Um, <laughs> uh, it depends on what kind of section you're in. If it's like a pretty easy flowy section, it doesn't even feel that fast. It feels really flowy and really fun, so I had a lot of fun. Yeah. When you're r racing this though, do you have to think about, all right, this is what I have to do, or is it all muscle memory for you at this point? Um, I still have to think about what I have to do. I sometimes forget about that in races, and I try to just rely on my natural skiing, but if I approach a race without aggression, then I'm slow no matter what, so I'm, I'm learning every day that no matter what race it is, I still have to push it. That speed, the slightest wrong twitch or something can send you off, right? Yeah, definitely, but you have to take that risk if you want to win, so. Where do you feel like you, you were able to get the most out of this run today on, on the course? Where? Yeah. Um, probably coming off of headwall. I wasn't super clean on headwall. I was just a little nervous with my speed. So I came off and knew that I had to arc the next couple turns and I carried good speed from there on out. How familiar are you with this hill? Um, I've ran it a few times, maybe like five or six times. So I know it pretty well. I still come back and I'm surprised sometimes by little rolls or sections that I don't remember specifically, but in general, I know the hill pretty well. Was it, did the course run the way you hoped it would? Was it, uh, how, how was it? Sorry, I'm just gonna turn around. Oh, okay. um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it wasn't exactly what I thought, but um, after hearing the course report, I kind of knew how it was gonna run, and. Um, Jacqueline Wiles helped out a lot. She ended up going out on the difficult section and so she radioed up and told us how it ran, which was really nice. So, I mean, from what I expected, I think it was pretty similar.